Good luck in our tobacco card break. We're going to see something special come out of here. Uh, let's find out first, though, who's going to win some spots. There's actually two winners in this race. Here's a quick explanation of what's going on. The first place gets three spots. Second place, a single spot at a four-person race. Let's go, let's go. This is our first name letter break that's coming out. It's the first name letter. Uh, here we go with our uh, race for uh, four spots are on the line. And uh, it is happening. It is a race, my friend. Four spots. Shuffle seven times. Lucky number seven on your mark. Get set. Go. So Bob's away is taking some kind of strategy here because he's guaranteed a spot at least. Brian is gunning for a victory. But Bob's away. has got first place right now with 10 seconds left. Brian has made it. Oh, my. What a, what a victory. My gosh. Who would have thought? So there you go. Brian S., you have three spots and Bob's away. Well, your strategy... Uh, worst case scenario still gets you a spot that could end up getting you the hit in the break there's only one hit in the break and all it takes is one spot to pull the hit and that could be your winning spot in the whole break we're going to find out right now uh, thanks for getting into a filler race as we get over to the random.org part of our break where we do some randoming and find out who gets which last name letter surprise surprise So we're going to random each list seven times. We're going to stack the lists up side by side if they go through this randomizer. Lucky number seven, the first random is finished. Now time for the, the uh, this is a first name break, first name letter. And I've kind of went over the rules a few times to the break, so I think everybody knows how this works. Uh, it is the first letter we see uh, on the nameplate of the grading uh, section of the, of the graded card that is not the product. All right, here we go. Letter random. There are some special exclusions. We're excluding Mr. But I don't think there's any Mr. or Miss or Mrs. or anything like that. I don't think that exists. I think we just wanted to, to eliminate that because that would be too common of a thing if there was a bunch of Mr.'s and Mrs. or Generals. Here we go, seven times. But we haven't seen that come through in this product, so it's, it's not even really worth mentioning. Here we go. Lucky number seven. There it is. There's everybody with your letter. And uh, man, oh man, we'll see what happens here. Ho! Ho! You can see how it matches up alongside the letter list. All right, let's go. Let's go.
So you can see the seals. Just want to show that really good. So they're both seals and everything. Oh, I hope we get a monster hit coming out of here. We've been we've been uh, looking for monsters around here at Friendly Collectibles tonight. Dan K is packing a crossbow. We'll see, man. We'll see if we can harpoon something big in this thing. What is this? What's it going to be? Who's it going to be? What's it going to be? Who? Who? Cromwell. Letter C. Cromwell. He, isn't he the British uh, general that was uh, in battle with George Washington? And uh, did, isn't he the one that that uh, declared a defeat by the British to the Americans? Am I thinking right here? All right, letter C is going to hit this thing. That's Brian who has pulled General Cromwell. I could be wrong about my history, but I live in Virginia and I'm pretty sure I've seen his, maybe I'm thinking of someone else like Cornwallis. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe it's Cromwell. I don't know. The, the one that surrendered to George Washington. I thought it, it might have been Cornwallis, not Cromwell. So I don't know. I'm going to look into that. I'm really curious now about my history. This is uh, this could be from the 1800s. We've been talking about pulling something really old. And there it is. You can see it's an Allen & Ginter card. It's graded at a 5. Cromwell. And it definitely looks like he's a, a probably going to be a, a someone back in time. He might not be from the era that I'm thinking of. And so I'm really curious now. I think it was Cornwallis. I don't know. Let's find out. Who is Cromwell? I'm not going to speculate anymore. Who is Cromwell? Yeah, this is a different era in history. For sure it is. So he was an English uh, politician, army officer. Most important statesman in English history. Oh my gosh, embarrassing. I don't know this stuff. Uh, 1639 to 1651, Wars of the Three Kings. Yep, senior commander. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. Uh, really cool hit. Um, it's in 1888. Okay, that's that's one thing I was very curious about. If, if it was an 1800s card. So really cool, man. We got some age on this card right here. This tobacco card. And it's a cool story. So this is how car collecting got started. Uh, Brian, you've got a real neat piece here of history uh, that celebrates history. So in the 1800s, they were celebrating stuff in the 1600s. And it's really cool memorabilia. And it looks to be in good shape. <laughs> That's in pretty decent shape for 18. 88 or yeah yeah 1888 it's in good shape uh that's cool congratulations man nice hit in the tobacco card box break for brian s